for all the uh, important technical things you'll answer, so I'll just do this, the sales pitch. Um, we felt that Penang has a very, very strong uh, local identity, and that should really be the basis for moving forward on a policy or thinking about culture. Um, we are very happy to see that the economic base, the, the people who are presenting the, uh, the new economy, um, has incorporated culture, and we believe that uh, going forward, we have got to start thinking about an, an entire economic system based around culture. Um, and we felt that uh, from experiences in other cities around the world, um, it shouldn't be a kind of top-down uh, approach. Um, it, should really be, it should really begin with a social campaign for the storytelling part of it. Let the stories come from all of us. Uh, that helps to build cohesiveness, that helps to build ownership, and that helps to reinvigorate uh, the entire uh, state, yeah? in that sense. Um, we also felt that um, whilst all these high-sounding concepts are important, um, you really have to sort of bring it down to earth. Um, and looking at creating an ecosystem for creative people um, in, in, in the form of spaces, in a form of programs that attract talent is also quite important. I think the state is already doing this. Uh, YB, you, you, I'm sure you let, you let the, everyone know that there's a, going to be a creative incubator in uh, Yap Cho E building. Uh, Think City is trying out something at the Star Building, maybe not very successful. Uh, <laughs> but I, the great thing about having experts here or people with a lot of experience from other countries is that they can basically tell us how they did it in their own context. But I think at the end of the day, we have got to do it based on our own uh, situation. Uh, we learn lessons from overseas, um, but we, we have got to start defining it for our own, based on our own uh, local situation. We also felt that uh, whilst you create this ecosystem, it, you have got to, at some point, um, work through policies. Right? So at the policy level, we felt that uh, it's very important to make a case for culture. So I think the first step is that we convince the organizers of this workshop to put us number two. Um, but we shouldn't, you know, culture shouldn't be an afterthought. Uh, and an economy and based around culture um, makes it, puts people front and center. And I think that is uh, quite important. Um, and what we mean by this is that first you've got to begin with an inventory. I think GTWHI has done wonderful work in the past years. Uh, one, uh, Dr. Maimona, since you passed over the baton to Miss Lim, she has uh, gone out uh, doing lots of inventory work, uh, working with Penang Institute. And I think the time has come for us to maybe aggregate all these things, do a proper audit. Um, and this is important because you need to convince policymakers based on facts and figures. You need to tell them how many jobs will be created from this. Correct, YB? If, you, if we meet YAB, CM, I think as a, as a, he's a chartered accountant, so semua kalau tak ada fact and figures, I think tak, tak, can go back lah. You know? I think that being, decision, being politicians and de decision makers, they have got to be accountable for their decisions. And you know, making informed decisions based on facts and figures is quite important. Um, this brings us to identifying gaps. And as people who are very passionate about culture, we should actually start developing arguments for culture. That culture is not only represented by high polluting artsy fartsy, you know, uh, Picasso uh, in the tropics or something, uh, but that it permeates throughout all our lives. And that's why it's important to therefore create a link um, between other state policies. What I'm trying to say here is that just as the people who are creating a new economic base for Penang, uh, they should, we should see how we can align with uh, their policies. Just as how council is now regulating uh, new types of development, culture should also be part of their, that focus. Um, then we had uh, what we call keywords or takeaways from our discussion. Do I have to do everything? Uh? Okay. <laughs> uh, and this is really the most exciting part because we're all culture people. Eh? Yeah, so I would like to pass it to Professor here <laughs> to go through this part and then finish off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very participative. Um, okay, in short. Um, you know, first of all, we want to create engagement. 
in, you know, in the beginning of our discussion, our section, um, we find um, you, you are concerned. You, 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 you always talk about, I mean, the local uh, opinions, uh, the government uh, officer. You, you, you say um, you are afraid um, the, the other people, they don't want involves our, our policy. So the more important thing is how we, how we uh, create engagement. So engagement is very important. Uh, but I think maybe we need education social education. Let more and more people, citizens, local people, tourists, uh, international or local uh, 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 tourists, know uh, uh, opinion become to, to, uh, a trend, to change. So that's also engagement. Another point is, you know, uh, for, for us, um, we should look at the long term, not short term. So it's OK, it's OK, it's here, it's OK here. I think the more important thing, uh, another important thing is the e ecosystem. I uh, ask um, Joy and I ask, ask you, you, you know, in Taipei we know the, the artists, the creative people, they, they need space for the, their, their crea creativity. They need space for, for you know, create something new uh, work. So, so the space is very, very important. And of course, another source resource is more important. So I call that is an ecosystem, just like, like as for for many manufacturer industries. So, so um, that is what, um, maybe you should um, in Taipei we have um, such such place uh, we have uh, uh, we provide such place to to designers. And uh, um, just like uh, in PNQ, just like in, um, in Taipei, we, ha we have a creative park. In, in this morning, I, I explained to you. So um, that is for long term. This is for research and uh, policy research is also for the long term. That is also important. Um, especially I find um, in Pena, I think it's, you don't have to, um, it's long term policy. So I, I don't like. Use um, to use master plan. I don't trust master plan, <laughs> but I, I think we should uh, learn, uh, uh, we should need a long term um, policy. Okay, the third one is maybe is a final uh, final one uh, point is um, about local context. I call maybe we we, we use this word as, as a community driven projects. For me, when we talk about so. So many themes. Uh, we talk about a story uh, telling. We talk about um, creative economy. But what's important? What is, does it mean for for the local people? For the local context? So, uh, for example, community dri uh, driven uh, uh, projects. That means um, you know when when we invite the international or local designer come to Penland and uh, use uh, such place as uh, their um, innovative um, studio and uh, for one year or six months. And uh, they got something new idea. They will uh, create um, products, design new products, and uh, they hire local people. You know, you should create jobs for the local people, for the local uh, community. So let's, uh, let's is, as we, we call a community-driven community project. We should use the cultural resource to empower local people and uh, make local people join you will, you will go, you will change, you will, you will movement and make the, the, the opinion better and better. So maybe we can say like engagement, it's long term um, policies and long term uh, planning and uh, don't forget local context. It's, it's community, uh, community uh, driven part, uh, such orientation, don't forget that. So that is our conclusion. It's okay? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Huh? Developers, developers, this is to councils, developers should be encouraged to uh, develop community-aware urban developers, all right? So, you know, I don't know, la, sometimes uh, the developers are, you know, they have the most ugly buildings, I don't know, maybe we should have guidelines, you know? But the most important thing is that, you know, we should rate them by local council, whether the, how, how that development actually benefits local community. Yeah, I know it's going to be difficult, but you know we don't have much land, and if they will do something, do it well, uh. All right, thank you. Or even some kind of some yes. Can yeah. Correct. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.